Hi guys! Today I want to give you a quick update on my next project. I will use a lot of color lead to make something round, but I don't want to spoil too much what you'll see in the next video, so stay tuned to the channel. Today in this video I would like to explain to you how the coloring of RGB LEDs works. In many videos you have seen me using RGB LEDs to make display, colored cubes, bright clock and much more. But do you know how to set the color of RGB LEDs in Arduino using the HSV methodology? So in this video I want to show you how the HSP color system works by making a quick circuit with the breadboard and the LED strips. HSV is the most common cylindrical coordinate representations of points in RGB color model. HSV stands for U, saturation and volume. U representing one full cycle of the color wheel. Each subsequential pixel will be offset to complete one or more cycle over the length of the strips. Saturation starts from gray to pure color. And value is brightness and it goes from off to full brightness. Now let's see how to draw the electrical diagram of the circuit that will make you understand in practice how the HSV color system works. We use three potentiometer, an SSD1306 OLED display, an Arduino and some RGB LEDs. We need to connect the potentiometers to the analog input of Arduino connect the SDA and SCK pins to the analog input of Arduino and finally connect the digital output to the RGB LEDs. So let's start drawing. The three potentiometer will be used to set the value of U, saturation and value. We will use the display to see the value that we set for U, saturation and value. The RGB LEDs will show the actual color that we have selected. And finally, we can see in practice how the HSV system works. You can see that when the U value changes, the color of the RGB LEDs changes. You can see the entire range of color available. When I change the saturation value, the color tends to go tower gray, to turn off. The higher the saturation value, the fuller the color.
changing the value, the brightness decreases until it turns off. If you are interested in learning more about the topic, I found some interesting YouTube video that you can watch. I leave all the links in the description. We'll see you soon with a new video with LEDs. And if you guess what it could be, please leave a comment with your idea. Bye bye!